Hi, uh, just a quick test of a tool I'm, I'm writing now, just to see how far we can push uh, MetaHumans, uh, the setup that comes as a source file using Bridge. So here we have a, a MetaHuman, so let me switch into uh, texture mode, lighting mode. This is a MetaHuman generating uh, by using MetaHuman Creator and it's beautiful and gorgeous. So I saw around, there is a technique to offset uh, this this specific starting shape, which is the form via, via front of chain blend shape and skin cluster to offset by using you know another skin cluster, another blend shape, always at one. Although I wanted to take this a little bit further and you know analyzing a little bit what was happening in the RBF, uh, RBF solver, and, and being able to offset those matrices that relies on a DNA files that I saw that is plugged into the nodes. So what I'm doing here is basically recomputing all the blend shapes and then applying, <coughs> uh, uh, calculating the delta between the joint position towards the new joint position, interpolating between the twos and do some a bit more cleanup inside, inside the code. So the idea here is that I wanted to apply this shape Currently, it's the same topology. I want to work on something that would allow me to have different topology. The current limitation now is that I'm not doing anything for the eyes. Uh, and uh, so the eyes are basically pretty much the same. I'm, I'm, I want to work on something that would, I will be able to offset the eye position as well. Um, but yeah, the, the, uh, this shape, it's not really about, you know, the, the different, the different uh, features, but rather having a little bit more stylized face to see how much the deformation can hold up, like a little bit more hard edges. Let me get rid of the, a little bit more hard edges around here. So a little bit more stylized. So let's try and see. Um, Let's see if this still works. This is all connected. Yeah. Um, yeah, let me run the tool now. So what the tool does, it, it, it goes through, it analyzes, it, it introspects the graph. It finds uh, the geometry that we are interested in. Uh, in this case, I'm specifying directly this geometry, but this, I've noticed that there are other blend shapes, so that might, I, I have to offset with deltas, potentially other geometries. But so the, uh, is introspecting the graph and is reconstructing all the blend shape but using this as a base and ex extracting those shapes and reapplying them by substituting all, all the connections. So it, it has generated a new geometry assigning the new shader. But what it's going to do now instead, it's going to offset the joint position by manipulating directly the data that is inside the RBF solver that comes with the, it's the Unreal Epic Games RBF solver. So uh, currently the retarget mesh is, has been hidden, but uh, overall I think it has done quite quite a nice job. Uh, all the offsets are preserved and only the deltas were applied, but the RBF computation still interpolates properly. And uh, so this is the new shape, but uh, and let's see how it holds up. So you can see that, you know, overall I'm quite satisfied with the amount of details that are coming through, although I have offset this area quite a bit, but most of it I'm interested in uh, in the in the preservation of the hard edge details. Now this texture might be a little bit too realistic. But overall, it seems to be preserving quite well. You can see that something really nice is happening even with the direct text shader, they're triggering wrinkles. Overall, the shape holds quite well. Of course, you know, in the future, I might have to try this with a, 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 a wider variation. Quite nice, the pulling on the nose, even if I, I've changed the nose quite a bit. Okay, so this is the first pass. I'm going to try to improve, as I said, around the eyes and um, er other areas. And potentially having a tool that allows us to remap easily this this control scheme to an on-face control scheme. Cheers.